Hi everyone, we added a lot of improvements and features to the Motion Tools Pro from the initial release. In this video, we will cover the main changes. Let's move on. Let's start with the notifications update. Starting from the 1.1 free version, you will receive notifications about upcoming updates for the Motion Tools Pro extension. You can select the save folder for the extension by simply clicking on the save button. Now you can do it from the extension itself. After this, you can unarchive it and install it through the XP installer. We now provide special links to helpful information about our latest updates. Motion tweaks and any new extended libraries will be available after purchasing them and will update automatically by clicking the Save button. No extra actions are needed. We have also updated the UI extension. You can now remove widgets and scripts from the panel in edit mode. The main changes you will see in the Content Settings and Extension Settings panels. Now they are aligned and more elaborate UI. Let's dive into the details. Initially, we could customize each panel separately, which was cool but made it difficult to transfer styles and scripts from one panel to another. Now we made layout system. A layout is a set of UI functions and complex widgets which have their own individual styles as well as the style of the entire panel. You can add new layouts from the bottom left title menu. The new layout will be based on the currently opened layout by default. In edit mode, you can freely reorder and resize the buttons to your liking. The individual style of any button you can make from the content settings. Simply select the desired function and change the icons or colors as needed. All of these changes will be saved in the current layout. To customize the style of the entire panel, go to the extension settings. From there, you can set the layout for the selected panel, change the color, adjust the cell size and more. By the way, you can save the style of any panel to a file and share it. The apply style function will replace your current style with a new one. Once you have created and adjusted the new layout, you can select it in any of the four panels. You can remove the layout from any panel by pressing the close button to the right of its name. If you want to share the complete layout, you can find the layout settings in the extension settings panel. Like a style file, you can save the JSON file containing all the layouts UI, including the scripts, order and style. Additionally, there is an option to load the layout to the extension. However, it's important to know that this function doesn't save the script itself. If there are extended scripts that doesn't exist on the other computer, it wasn't work. It only saves the position, size and style. This functionality should improve your workflow and speed up the use of scripts you need at the moment. Let's move on to the another cool feature. You can now use your own expressions and scripts directly from the panels. To add them, open Content Settings. On the left side, you will find our Motion Tools Pro Basic scripts, extended libraries like Motion Twigs, and then Expressions and Scripts. To add new items, simply click the plus button. And to remove any unused items, click the delete button. Let's add a simple wiggle expression. On the right side, located some button style settings. You can change its name. By default, this name will display in the panel after adding the item to the panel, if you don't change the icon. Add the expression to the first text area. If the area is too small, you can adjust its size by dragging the bottom right button. Great! You can also add descriptions and help tips that will be displayed when hovering over the button. After editing an item with the Add button, it will appear in the panel. Select any desired properties and then press the button to add the expression. Cool! One important note. After making any changes, be sure to click the Update button to save them. 
The script element works similarly to extensions, but is a little bit more complex and requires some experience to work with. Here is a simple example. The alert function displays a message each time the script is executed. Change the name, add it to the panel, and test it out. Yeah, it works, cool. So you can create your own library of expressions and scripts in our Motion Tools Pro. Additionally, we have added some functionality to operate this custom library. You can find the scripts section in the extension library. First of all, export function. All custom expressions and scripts could be exported as a JSON file from the extension, like we did with styles and layouts. This file could be imported to the extension so you can share all your library. If a script or expression in the library has the same name as in the file, it will be replaced by the file. Therefore, pay attention to the naming of your scripts. It is good practice to add a pre or post name to differentiate them from similar scripts. Currently, we don't have the functionality to export specific items. However, the JSON files have a simple and understandable structure. You can open the file in any text editor or web version and manipulate it if you want to create a special library. For additional information, please refer to our documentation. You can also find links to our documentation, Discord channel and some functions in the extension settings. Like sign out from your account, open configs will open the system folder where we store files for an extension, and reset all function will delete all changes settings and reset added scripts for fresh state. For most actions, preferably restart the Motion Tools Pro extension. These are all main changes in the extension work. There are more minor changes that you can find in our documentation. We have also updated our basic scripts. Let's take a look. After the initial release, we added some new scripts. However, some of them may not be displayed in the panel. To see all the scripts, open content settings. The main indicator is a check mark to the right of the script name. We have brought back the shaped from vector script from our old motion tools. This simple script can convert batches of Illustrator files to shapes. Additionally, you can execute any script from the preview button with this panel. Another support script will remove artboards from the Illustrator file in the shape layer. This function exists in the script shape from vector by holding Alt or Option key, but it could also be useful as a separate script. The completely new is the position trace script. We create it from the Emanuele Colombo motion tricks course. It will show the movement of any selected layer with the animated position property. New shape layer will be added to the composition. The shape path will show the movement of the same number of frames before and after the current time. Let's take a look at the parameters of the new layer. Choose the layer from which the movement will be taken. Frame trace indicates how many frames the movement will be displayed before and after the current moment. Frames offset shift the start of tracing. For example, to see the trace only after the start of the movement, subtract the same number of frames as set in the frame trace. Trace smooths round the trajectory with round corners modifier. And trace detail changes the path's details. But be careful, the more points, the more performance will be degraded. The default values will be sufficient for us. But if you notice that After Effects is slowing down with a large number of layers, you can reduce it to 100 or less. And let's look at the main changes in the existing scripts. We added a keyframes types changer in the Easy Keyframes widget so you will get the desired results faster. Also, we update the way the sliders work. Now you will get changes immediately after changing the slider's position. Another feature. You can mirror the first sliders at the same time by holding down Alt or Option key. So you will get cool easings faster than ever and dynamically control them. 
In the sequencer widget, we added a line button. It aligns all selected keys or layers relative to the time indicator. It's a small but very useful tool if you need to reset the offset position. Adding nulls is one of the core mechanics in After Effects. We have added a few cool modes to this function. By default, it adds null in the anchor point of the one selected layer, or one null in the middle of all selected layers. Now, by holding the shift button, you will add nulls to each selected layer. And all layers will be parented to these nulls. And all of them will be selected that should be useful for further actions. If you select only nulls, adding a new null to them will create a primary null with a new color. This could help to separate different rig levels. You can hold the Alt key if you prefer the standard null anchor point in the top left corner. The anchor point value will be zero, and this may be better for expression rigs. Another new possibility, you can select puppets on the layer and link them to nulls. And that's all for this moment. We're preparing new cool features and hope you will love them. Thanks for your attention, and see you soon.